If you enjoy this video, please click like and subscribe. Do it. Go ahead. It's right down there. Come on. So, first and foremost, before we get into warm-ups for Guilty Gear Strive today, Arc System Works last night released the final character trailer for DNF Duel. There is actually one more character that they showed off for the base roster of DNF Duel. And it looks absolutely amazing. Um, it looks really sick, really edgy. Uh, it looks absolutely like a boss character. I believe I read on Twitter that he is only unlockable by finishing the story of DNF Duel. So rest in peace to all the TOs out there that have to get that character unlocked for tournaments by playing through the story on all those freaking consoles. Uh, it's absolutely rough. There really should be an option to just like unlock the character if you've already unlocked it like on a different account. Uh, and it, it's going to be so bad for TOs and tournament organizers. It, it's rough, it's rough, it's rough. But right, let's just go ahead and check out that trailer now. All right, so the final character for the base roster of DNF Duel, the Lost Warrior. Let's, let's check it out. Okay, I already love his outfit. Oh, okay. That cross loose. So it kind of like it looks a lot like Ghost Blade. Jesus, he's huge. I think he's the largest model on the screen, like out of all the characters. Oh. Okay, super's kind of sick. All right, all right. He looks cool. He looks really cool. Uh, let me see, let's slow down his trailer, and let's see if we can figure out what his moveset looks like. Uh, I know a lot of people already have access to the game in New York through some kind of, like, witchcraft and devilcraft. Uh, that they have it a week early? I'm, I, I can't believe it, but... Alright, what do we got? Sick looking intro. Galaxies, stars, I'm all for it. Perfect, perfect. This character's from me. All right, this looks to be just as a, a combo. That wasn't a special. That was the special, though. So he has... Uh, so his natural combo is a dash through. And then he can special into a dash through uppercut. Oh, it looks like there's like a rune marking there as well. I wonder what that does to the opponent. Uh, looks like he has a counter guard special. That's sick. A parry special. Oh, oh no, that would just be that would just be a counter guard. And then oh, he's got the uh, he's got the um, not Beelzebub. Uh, what is his name? Um, his name is escaping me. I'm I'm I'm, fucking, I'm forgetting it. I'm forgetting it. I'm forgetting it. I'm forgetting it. Belial. Yeah. Uh, Blyle. Yeah. Uh, he's got he's got the Blyle teleport move. The overhead little smash thing but you can actually follow that up for sure oh yeah there it is you can probably get a better follow-up that's probably an ender to be honest uh, he's, he's floating there forever what was that what the hell <laughs> uh so fireball like orb placement, but then you tell you switch sides with your opponent. I don't know. Oh, that's sick. Okay. And then here's his normal toss. Oh, and then just natural teleport. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? Natural teleport into like an overhead command grab. Oh no. Or is that his super setup? It might be his super setup it is just uh, the overhead, uh, Yeah, okay. So yeah, his, his super is an overhead. That's actually super neat. That's actually really neat. That's really cool. I like that. That's that's kind of strong. And then his super cinematic is really sick. Oh, this character looks really good. Um, super excited to try him out. Um, he might. Right now my roster is actually growing of like characters I want to try and play um, between uh, this guy 
uh, Lost Warrior, Striker, my main waifu, and then Enchantress. Like, Enchantress is looking very sick. Uh, I'm definitely excited for this game to come out this coming week now. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fun to play. Um... But yeah, I mean, we're only a few days out. Uh, I know a lot of people already have, or I know people from New York already have the game and have been posting a lot of tech and mix-ups and cross-ups in this game. Apparently the game is already feeling and uh, looking different. So definitely, definitely excited to see what it is like as a final product now. Um, and uh, I hope to... Hope to get my hands on it soon, I guess. <laughs> oh, they can't come fast enough at this point. More importantly, YouTube, what do you think about Lost Warrior? Uh, is this a character that you're interested in trying out? Are you going to actually play through the story mode to unlock this character? What do you think about the character being hidden and locked behind a story mode that you're forced to play through to unlock and lab and test? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, like and subscribe, do that whole YouTube thing. I appreciate it.